Hello, it's Tuesday the 17th of July 2018. I'm feeling really happy today and I think I'm getting used to living on my own and having my own space. But also, I'm really happy that I'm actually finally getting the support I need to just be able to get clean clothes on, wash my hair, brush my hair, um, have a cup of tea in the morning and everything so it's really made a massive difference to my life and how I feel and I just feel much happier to get up and try and do things and go about the day in my wheelchair when I just don't feel like I'm struggling just to basically do my personal care and wash and get dressed. So the reablement people, uh, what they do is they come and get me up in the morning, I'm usually in bed, I get into my wheelchair and then they give me a shower, I've got a shower chair in there so they're um, using the shower hose on me while I'm sort of washing with a sponge and they sort of rub and wash my hair and put conditioner in for me and brush it which is amazing. I just had horrible tangles in my hair because I couldn't brush it because of my shoulder and I just feel really really good. I can't explain how much of a difference it's made to how I feel but it really has. Um, especially because they're also sort of picking up nice clothes for me instead of me having to put on just whatever baggy clothes I can manage to find and get on on my own and I wanted to show you what she's chosen for me today. It's a cute, oh sorry my hip, it's a cute little dress. and some matching black leggings and there's my compression socks so <clears throat> yeah I feel amazing and I feel like I'm wearing you know female clothes <laughs> which is amazing because that just hasn't happened for so long so today I've got to go down to the job centre and sort out all my documents with them and sort out getting my disability money and then after that when I get back I've got this woman from Enablement who's coming to help me figure out my routines around the house and I'm really looking forward to seeing her. She's a lovely person and I hope she can help me a bit and we'll maybe try out some stuff and figure out ways for me to do things in the house. So I just feel really happy and I think as well as just actually being clean and able to have my clothes on properly and get my compression socks on, I am also just really happy because I haven't got someone there, i.e. my mother, <clears throat> just constantly popping up and saying don't do this, don't do that and being really negative about every single thing that I do. <laughs> and that is such a massive drain on your energy especially when you've already got to struggle with a disability and then you're getting a bunch of negativity on top and I know that my mum doesn't really intend to do that and she's not really doing it on purpose she just finds it extremely difficult to cope with life at all and I think she has some you know mental health issues that she could probably do with some support on. But anyway, I am just going to go through and edit all my video logs. Now I don't have internet yet because the phone line's not even been connected, but my plan was that I can edit them all now, then just go to an internet cafe and upload everything. And I realise at this point that I'm 17 days behind and I feel terrible about it and I'm so sorry but all the moving stuff has just been a huge drain on my energy and I've had so many dislocations and everything's just been really difficult and I've been really stressed about how I'm going to live on my own but so far it all seems to be working out well. I've still got the problem with my hip and walking um, and I'm just going to show you but 
like the muscle spasm I had yesterday has gone down, so it's actually possible to see what the issue is now, which is that the hip bone on this side is sticking out, and I think it's dislocated. And I'm just going to try and... God, it's really hard to get up. Right, there we go. I'm just going to try and show you. Can you see that? That's uh, literally the shape I'm stuck in. I can't straighten it any more than that. And when I try and put weight on it, it just kind of chucks me forward and collapses. <laughs> So this is the hip that I was supposed to have the surgery on for the snapping muscle, snapping over the bone, but I think it's actually fully dislocated now, so I wonder whether I'll still be allowed that surgery and whether it will make a difference. I did think about going down to the hospital because obviously this hip thing is a new dislocation and my shoulder's also dislocated and I'm in a bit of a state and a lot of pain. but. I kind of thought, I'm pretty happy now and do I really need the stress? Maybe I should just leave it for a while. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've just got to get ready to go out to the job centre. I should have another carer popping in for a few minutes just to help me make lunch. I've worked out how to turn the oven on. <laughs> So I can actually have my food now and my mum also brought me a couple of pieces of chicken because I hadn't got round to even working out how to do the shopping yet. Hopefully this woman later today will be able to help me with that. So just going to get everything sorted and get back to editing some video logs I think. Bye bye for now. Hello again. So. What I'm going to try and do, which I haven't even attempted to do for years, is I'm going to try and do some washing up from my wheelchair using the sort of lifting cherry picker function and see how I get on. I think it might be difficult because it is hard to get the chair close enough to the um, things to reach it. I think I need to turn around the other way actually because my good arm is on the other side and um. right oh well, maybe I need to go straight on okay chair goes up oops wrong function <laughs> that was the tilt chair goes up Okay, now let's see what I can do. This is unbelievably difficult and I can feel that I'm kind of injuring my good arm a little but uh... hello so I'm just trying to establish what's going on with my hip um, I can't stand for long because it's really painful and just I just fall over but um, I'm just going to try and stand up long enough to show you. Can you see that? I don't know if it's the hip or the pelvis. Because if I look at the other side, okay. there's no line there. And if I try and stand up straighter, 
I physically can't get straighter than that past that point. It just won't move any further. It's stuck. So, I don't know, I think I might have to go to the hospital for this. This is weird because I'm just showing you my butt, but <laughs> I just need you to see this. That's that side, and then if we look at the other side, it's normal. Just on my way to the hospital. I love coming through this leafy bit of town, it's really pretty. This thing is my new best friend. I just had a bunch of gas and air, laughing gas with the Valium and I didn't want to take it at first but they insisted and it is really, really relaxing. <laughs> I told them I used to hang out with some medical students that would take it for a laugh. <laughs> And I kind of see why now. I never liked it. I never thought I'd like it. I never tried it. Um, so I can go home because basically once they gave me a ton of that, a consultant managed to straighten my leg. Uh, so he just did it really gradually and it ended up more or less straight. So I've got to go home now. Um, I need to ring my mum. It's such a relief to have my leg not all bent in that horrible shape. Okay. okay watch where you're going. I am. Uh, no, be careful because you it's, you're, must not crash into cars. How do you look where you're going? Because basically, they said they've given me some more Valium to take because otherwise it'll probably just go back into the spasm straight away before it has a chance to. Mm -hmm. So when have you got to take it? Well, I haven't got to take it, but they've given me Same some. Do I get? Oh, okay. So. Did I faint, or how did that? I end up on the floor. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't know what happened, it happened so quickly. You were lucky that they appeared, weren't you? Yeah. The paramedics. <laughs> so you take me back to my flat? Yeah. Do you bring chicken? Yeah. Yes. Come here, kitty cat. Come here. <laughs> He's rolling. He's like me. Hello. <laughs> Too shy. Right. 